What's going on guys, Red Gaming here, and today I'm going to be going through my Gravekeeper deck. This deck was recommended by one of my friends, shout out to you Colin. Uh, I made this a few weeks ago, and I've been, I've been loving playing with it. It's super awesome, it shuts down almost everything. And I'm going to go through this deck card by card what I have. As always, I'll have the deck list in the description of the video. Um, so let's get started and go into the deck. So for the first card I have, I run one copy of Gravekeeper's Recruiter. I run three copies of Gravekeeper's Commander. Three copies of Gravekeeper's Heretic. And then I have two Inspector Borders. Uh, I thought about running three, but for now I only ran two. You can run three also. Uh, I have one Regeki, one Harpy's Feather Duster, and one Terraforming. Uh, three Card Demise, three Pot of Dualities, three Necro Valley Throne, three Pot of Extravagance, three Necro Valleys, three Hidden Temples in Necro Valley, and then the last spell card, I have two Cosmic Cyclones. For the Trap cards, I have one Mirror Force, three Torrential Tributes, one Infinite Impermanence, one Dogmatic, Dogmatica Punishment, excuse me, one Psalm Judgment, and then three Psalm Warnings. And that's going to be for the main deck. For the extra deck, it doesn't really matter too much what you put in your extra deck. It's just a bunch of cards because you're not really going to use it. Most of the, I only run an extra deck just for pot extravagance, so really the extra deck doesn't really matter, so I won't really go through it at all. But for the main purpose of this deck is to get Necro Valley out. And there's a few options to get Necro Valley out. For starters, you draw Gravekeeper's Commander, use his special ability, discard him from your hand, and boom, Necro Valley. You also have one copy of Terraforming. Uh, you also have Necro Valley Throne, three copies of that, and you can to draw Gravekeeper's Commander and discard him. So there's different ways to get Necro Valley. So Necro Valley already by itself shuts down your graveyard. And there's a couple other cards that does awesome things in this deck. I'm gonna go through some of my replays and explain to you what each card does and how it just shuts down your opponent. All right, so for this duel, I was up against a Drytron deck. And I completely shut it down. So right off the bat, I see I drew Gravekeeper's uh, Commandant, and I discard him to get Necro Valley. Put out Necro Valley, and he can't use anything in his graveyard. So when Necro Valley, let me pause real quick. When Necro Valley is out, cards in the graveyard cannot move from the graveyard, which is very effective against Drytron decks, as you will see. He's going to use Cyber Emergency. I used Cosmic Cy Cyclone, but that was kind of a misplay because it doesn't matter because the effect is going to activate anyways. So he's going to be doing his thing. By sending a bunch of cards in the graveyard, as Drytron Drex always do. <laughs> <clears throat> and he's still going and then I eat Trenchal Tribute him dump all the cards in the graveyard and remember they're all stuck there they, they cannot they cannot move out of his graveyard so here he is, he's still sending monsters to his graveyard. Can't use the effect because he can't leave. He realizes, oh crap, he can't leave the graveyard, so he ends his turn. So now I use Necro Valley Throne to get any Gravekeeper monster. I chose Gravekeeper Heretic because while Necro Valley is on the field, he cannot be affected by any card effects. So it's awesome to get him. So I put him out, and then I put out... Hidden Temples. Hidden Temples can only be used when you have a Gravekeeper Monster and Necro Valley. So when Gravekeeper Monsters out and Necro Valley, Hidden Temples and allow you to special summon any monsters except for Gravekeeper Monsters, which is incredible. So right now, my field is stacked up where he can no longer move cards from his graveyard to the field or banish or to his hand or anywhere. I have Gravekeeper's Heritage cannot be affected by any card effects. And I have hidden temples that not allows you to summon any special summon any monsters besides Gravekeeper monsters. So right now he's 
pretty much screwed. So I attack him directly. Realizes he can't do anything and then quits. The best anti-meta deck. So for this duel, I'm go. I went up against a Dragon Link deck, and already to start out, I have a pretty good hand. I use Pot of Duality. I yeah, so I, I remember I grabbed Terraforming here, so I can get Necro Valley. So Necro Valley is in my hand. Use that. I summon Gravekeeper's Recruiter. And then I use Hidden Temples. So, uh, once again, can't move monsters from Graveyard. Can't special summon anything besides Gravekeeper's. So, in a Dragon Link deck, that's all you do is special summon. So, he already uses Boot Sector Launch. He can't special summon anything because I have Hidden Temples up. Use Paul Duality again. I don't remember what I grabbed this time. It might be Cosmic Cyclone. It was Cosmic Cyclone. Here's Necro Valley again to grab Heretic, who can't be affected by artifacts. Attack him directly. Put Cosmic Cyclone down. He can't do anything. He realizes he cannot do anything. And then I just... It's just a free-for-all to his life points now. I use Dogmatic of Punishment. I don't remember what red so he doesn't okay yeah so I use dogmatic punishment but he cancels the effect for some reason I use cosmic cyclone oh I get rid of boot sector get rid of his attack point his boosted attack points Gravekeeper's keepers recruiter goes in the graveyard you can get another graveyard monster to your hand so I'm I summon I'm pretty sure I summon heretic no, I use Punishment again. Oh, it just puts it face down. That's right, that's right. I remember now. And then I summon two Heretics and attack him in the window. door. So again, can't do anything. Can't move cards in the graveyard, can't special summon, and can't target my one monster for defects. Alright, so this last duel I'm going to show you is up against a Tri-Brigade deck. And I think I go second this duel and I still get the win. Typically with this deck you always want to go first, but sometimes I can pull out wins in second too. So he does his Tri Brigade bull bullshit. Yada 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 yeah yeah yeah. There's his Starling. Bird call, yada yada. There's the Robin. Utopic Future. And then he's gonna bring out Draco. So I'm already like, shit, you know, I'm kinda screwed here. So I use Pot of Extravagance. I get Necro Valley, luckily, which is dope. I use Regeki, everything's gonna be gone except Draco. I use Throne. Grab Recruiter. Put him face down. I actually don't remember how I get rid of Draco, so this would be interesting. 
So he's gonna attack my guy. I'm gonna be able to get another Gravekeeper monster to my hand. So I got Pot of Duel out. Oh no. I use Extravagance once again. Get two more. I use Pot of Duality now. <laughs> oh, I think I get him permanence. I think that's how I get him. So then I set again. Oh, you, I remember now. I use Impermanence, and then I think I use Torrential. Yeah, and then he can't. Then Heretic can't be affected by it. So then I put Temples again. So once again, my Fielder stack where he can't Special Summon and he cannot move monsters from the graveyard. So he uses his Tri Brigade. Tries to special summon, I think, from the graveyard. Realizes that he can't. Or no, maybe he doesn't. I use Saw Morning, dump his monster, and he quit. <laughs> so, yeah. Even going second, it still works. And yeah, it's just the anti meta deck. I mean, this deck has zombie players using Eldritch decks, just. Curled up in fetal position, crying for their mamas, you know, because they can't special summon. But yeah. Um, if you like this video, please give me a like and subscribe. And I uh, appreciate you watching it. And uh, yeah, see ya. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh. Infinite permanence it. He quit already. <laughs> uh.